Namaste guys, in this video we are going to learn how to create a hinge joint using simulation in Blender. So let's start. So this is my default scene. So select this default cube, press Ctrl I, X and delete. Select this, press S, set to scale it down. Now press S, Y to scale it up. Press Ctrl A and apply scale. Go on here, add and add a cylinder. Go here, decrease its radius to make sure it's small and rotate it along y axis so y90 increase its depth as per your requirement in my case i think this much is fine great now what i will do i will add a ball so that you know i can play with it so press g z and we move it upward now right click shade auto smooth S select this go to the physics tab click on rigid body make sure it is active select this click on rigid body make sure it is passive okay what is mean by active what is mean by passive passive are those things uh, which are going to be fixed and they are not going to move when you know some external forces applied active are those bodies which basically you know when external forces applied they can move i hope it's clear your doubt select this click on rigid body go downwards select the sphere select this and here select the box and select this and here select the cylinder uh, if you choose the right shape then you will get correct result if you have you know an uh, unwanted shape click on mesh but mesh will take a long time but as you can see that i have simple shapes so no issues next step select these two by pressing shift go to the object click on rigid body click on connect instead of fixed click on hinge and one thing you need to make sure for example in my case it will rotate along x axis okay so i will select this and make sure that axis is along the x axis because if not it will not going to be work properly so select this press r y 90 now if i click on play uh, select this press g okay nothing is happening let's see the issue uh, select this rigid body dynamic great click on this uh, let's see where the issue it's a good thing that you know that I'm, uh, uh, I face some issues. Slender, slender cube. This should be passive. This should be fixed. Animated. Press G, Y, move it here, and click on play. Why it's not working? Dynamic. Notice it's work. Now I want to play with it. So how can I do it? So I will go back here. Select this. Uncheck the dynamic part. Click on play. Select this. Press G. Okay, I think my view was wrong. So press G. Set. Hmm. GZ. now it's working so i can you know play with it right now you can see g i can kick it i can play with it easily with kicking so with that you can you know play with it easily and it's a good thing that you know you see what are the issues because when you make projects let's be frank guys we all face issues and we need to know what are the issues so that we can resolve one or on so in my case the shoe was it was checked on dynamic and i need to click on animated reality after that i need to press g and i need to make sure that it is in the correct pen okay so if i press g okay why it is not working again because i am not touching the box notice where is my sphere so i have to correctly align the view if i press g now notice it is working so the last time the issue was that uh, my body was not touching correctly the the box 
so in that way you can make the uh, hinge joint in blender so i hope you guys learned something from this video if you have any kind of doubt and queries feel free to ask and oh before ending this video you can also do some cool things for example if we go to the constraints select this and if you want to define some angle for example minus 45 to 45 if I say like this GZ, so it will go maximum up to 45, minus 45 to 45 degree, nothing more than that. So that's a cool thing because sometimes you want the limit uh, how much you can go or not. So with that you can achieve it. So that's for all. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Namaste.